feet five and with a two inch edge in reach. Back inside the octagon, here's Joe Martinez. And all five fans, we are set to go with the next match tonight. Three rounds, this in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, five inches tall. Weighing in at the light heavyweight limit, 206 pounds and 24 professional fights. His record stands at 18 victories and six defeats. Fighting out of Beaumont, Texas, here is Ryan Superman Spear. And across the octagon stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His background, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling. At six feet, three inches tall, he weighed in 205 pounds. In 20 professional fights, his record, 15 victories. With five defeats, fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, here is Misha Sirkunov. And your referee in charge of the action is Mark Smith. Mark Smith will man the octagon for our co-main event. Good matchup here between ranked competitors in this light heavyweight division. Misha Serkunov in the return. Right, minus 135 Misha, ready, as the favorite. Ryan Spann getting plus 115 as the underdog. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Spann immediately taking control of the center of the octagon, but a nice right hand from Serkunov with a head kick to follow. And even though Serkinov lost to Teixeira, he was doing really good up until he got mounted. So the guy has the ability to fight the best fighters in the world. He's shown that on multiple occasions. Oh, man, that was a high impact collision. Yeah, really heavy job from Misha. Go right there. Well, and wasting no time. Bit of a low blow there, so Smith will halt the action. It just rolled up. Just be careful. You all right? Watch that target area. Oh, yeah. You got five. Take it down. You good? Just be careful when it rolls up. All right, time in. Fight. Short pause in the action. Back underway. Another right hook. So Serkinov out since December, or excuse me, September of 2019. And, man, not wasting any time getting back to it. Well, when we were speaking to Misha, he spoke about Span getting tired. Yeah. Oh! oh, oh Span gets him down. Second off in survival mode from the bottom. Man, these guys are trading ah. leather. Oh, so smart. They told Span to let him up. He still yeah. hurt. Wobbly legs hurt. for Serkinov. Oh! Fires back. Serkinov's going to get those hands up. And if I was him, oh, he heard him again. shot. Yeah. He hit him on the side of the head there. Span's going down this time to try to end it. This stop, 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 is it. That's, it. That's going to do it. Ryan Spann, first round wow. TKO for the Texan. Stay inside. In that last exchange, he hit him on the side of the head. You could miss it if you're not paying close attention, but he touched him on the side. That is probably the worst place to get hit. What a performance by Ryan Spann. Right here, he lands that straight right hand right on the chin of Serkinov. Thought the fight was over. I cannot believe Serkinov survived this because he took that straight and clean. And then right here, as they come together again, oh, that's the first one. I mean, sets him right on his butt. Span jumps on him. You hear St. Saoud telling him to let him back up. He did. And then Ryan finds that, look at that, right there on the temple. Sets Serkinov down again, jumps off on him and gets the finish. What a performance. What a bounce back performance by Ryan Span. And as you said, DC, so smart to let him back up. Had he gone down into the ground to the guard,